Hi, in this video, let's discuss in detail about heparin. So initially, we'll go through the overview of various features of heparin, including mechanism of action, clinical uses, doses, forms, etc. And then we'll go through standard literature and then try to analyze heparin in depth. Okay, so as you can see, uh, heparin, as you know, it's a natural anticoagulant produced within our body by mast cells as well as basophils. And these mast cells are found abundantly in liver and lung and chemically heparin is a polysaccharide in fact we had a question regarding the same in one of the previous entrances AAPG I reckon so they were given a statement heparin is a polypeptide so I have to find out whether it's true or false so heparin is chemically polysaccharide it's a conjugated polysaccharide and mechanism of action it has antithrombin activity uh, to put that in brief so it activates antithrombin 3 it combines with antithrombin 3 and then uh, completely removes thrombin from circulation right and also it has this ability to inactivate various active forms of coagulation factors like uh, factor 9 10 11 and 12 right so that's the mechanism of action of heparin and it's used as anticoagulant not just in vivo but also in vitro Right, so we have various uses. It can be used in surgeries and it's also used in dialysis, so in vivo or clinical applications. In vitro, uh, while collecting blood for sake of testing or for sake of storage. So heparin can be used to prevent coagulation of blood, right? In order to prolong, to be more specific, prolong coagulation of blood. And clinically, the effect of heparin lasts for three to four hours and the coagulation effect. Whereas uh, in vitro or lab, the anticoagulation effect lasts for up to 8 to 12 hours right another important point which you can make a note of and also you can see the doses forms here clinically 0.5 to 1 milligram per kg body weight of heparin is given intravenous and as i said the time or duration of action it lasts for around three to four so for three to four hours you will not have any coagulation uh, and also we discussed in detail i mean in brief about the uses of heparin dialysis surgeries cardiac surgery any surgery in general and in vitro in lab, uh, it's used in order to prevent clotting of blood, especially when you collect the sample for sake of testing or for sake of transfusion or any other uh, relevant uses. So the doses which we use in lab or in vitro is 0.1 to 0.2 milligrams per ml of the collected blood. So this is the overview. Now let's go through the literature. So I'll be referring to uh, Sembolingam, Essentials of Medical Physiology, 4th edition, page 113. So you can see anticoagulants are the substances which prevent or postpone coagulation of blood. And these are anticoagulants which can be used in vivo, in vitro or both. The example for both will be your heparin which can be used both in vivo as well as in vitro. So heparin is a naturally produced anticoagulant in the body. It's produced by mast cells which are situated immediately outside the capillaries in large number of tissues or organs that contain more connective tissue. And these wandering cells are abundant in liver and lungs. Basophils also secrete heparin right and heparin is a conjugated polysaccharide and the commercial heparin is prepared from liver and other organs from animals and the commercial preparations are available in liquid form or dry form as salts of sodium calcium ammonium or lithium and coming to mechanism of action of heparin this is very important prevents blood clotting by its antithrombin activity directly suppresses the activity of thrombin it activates antithrombin 3 and combines with antithrombin 3 and removes thrombin from circulation and antithrombin 3 is nothing but a protease inhibitor which is present naturally in circulation and heparin also exerts its anticoagulant uh, action or effect by inactivating the active forms of various clotting factors like factor number 9 10 11 as well as 12 and coming to uses it can be used as an anticoagulant both in vitro or in vivo clinical uses uh, so as we have discussed intravenous injection of heparin 0.5 to 1 milligram per kg body weight postpones clotting for three to four hours until it is destroyed by the enzyme heparinase 
So it is widely used as anticoagulant in clinical practice and the uses include it's used in general to prevent intravascular blood clotting during surgeries. It's used during dialysis when blood is passed through artificial kidney. Heparin is used during cardiac surgery which involves passing the blood through heart lung machine and heparin is used as an anticoagulant to preserve the blood before transfusion right and coming to uses in lab or in vitro heparin is also used as anticoagulant in vitro while collecting blood for various investigations about 0.1 to 0.2 milligrams is sufficient for 1 ml of blood it's effective for almost 8 to 12 hours in vitro after that blood will clot because heparin only delays clotting doesn't prevent it so point to be noted it only delays but doesn't prevent clotting and heparin is the most expensive of all anticoagulants available so this is an overview of heparin i hope it's clear